Hi everybody. So this is a little bit of a challenge this week of a reading task. So I'm going to read you a poem and you may need your grown up to read it with you and help you. But I'm going to read you something and then you're going to answer some questions about the poem and finding the information in the text. And we have started to do that in Read Write Inc in our books and I'm sure you do it with your grown ups at home when they're asking you comprehension questions. But it might be a little bit different today, but let's give it a go. So. Here we have our poem and it's called In the Park. In the park, the sun is yellow, the sky is blue, the grass is green, can I play with you? The swings are red, the slide is blue, the seesaw is green, can I play with you? The flowers are red, buzz buzz says the bee, the trees are green, come and play with me. So on the next slide I'm going to put the question on. Then I'm going to come back to the poem so you can have a look for the answer. You don't need to remember all of the poems to be able to answer the questions because that would be very tricky. So I'll put the question on, then I'll go back to the poem and pause the video for you to find the answer. And then when you press play, the answers will then come back on. So let's have a look at our first question. Our first question is What two things are green? So let's go back to the poem. In the poem here, I want you to find which two things are green. So you might need some of your grown-ups to help you with some of the reading, but I think most of the words, most of you will be able to read because you're amazing with your reading. But I'm sure your grown-up will help you. So, pause the video, what two things are green? So, did you find it? We've got grass, the grass was green, wasn't it? And the seesaw was green. Well done if you did that. So let's have a look at the next question. Can you find a question in the poem and write it down? Now, in English today, we're looking at questions. So perhaps you're already ahead of the game if you've already done your English. But if not, don't worry. Can you find a question within the poem? So remember, what does a question need at the end of it? There's a bit of a clue. Pause the video if you need to. Question in the poem was, can I play with you? And it was actually in the poem twice, wasn't it? So well done if you spotted that. The swings are red. What other red thing is in the park? So find the other red thing in the park other than the swings. Pause the video and have a go. So in the park, the other red thing was the flowers. It said it at the bottom, didn't it? Okay, next one. The slide is blue. Which word in the poem rhymes with blue? So let's go back to the poem. Which other word rhymes with blue? Pause the video and have a go. Bit of a tricky one, this one. Okay, so the word that rhymes with blue is you. So it hasn't got that same two letter ending, hasn't it? But it's got the same sound. Well done if you managed to spot that. Okay, next one. Which sentence is not correct? So you don't need the poem for this one. You just need to read the sentences and I want you to find out which of the sentences are not correct. Which one did you not hear in the poem? I'll read you the poem first of all and then see if you can spot the um, wrong one. So I'll just read the last paragraph because that's what it relates to. So the poem says, the flowers are red, buzz buzz says the bee. The trees are green, come and play with me. So which one of these sentences is not correct? Have a go at reading it and tell me which one is not correct. It is, the trees are gold, isn't it? Because the trees weren't gold. Silly, the trees were green. Right, last question. What does the bee say? You might not even need the poem for this one, but I'll pop it, I can't speak, pop it back on and then have a go. What does the bee say? The bee says, buzz, buzz. Well done if you managed to get that right. And Miss Crease are getting all tongue-tied at the end. I think I got a little bit excited because I knew that you'd be able to do this question without even looking at the poem. So well done if you've managed that reading task. Perhaps I might put another one on next week if you've really enjoyed it. Maybe let me know on Tapestry how you got on with your reading task and if you'd like to do another one. Have a lovely rest of your day, guys. See you later.